Randy here from Intel looking at Edison. Now Edison's been making a lot of waves here. Can you give us a quick rundown of what Edison is and why it's the future? Okay, hi. So uh, this is an Intel PC in the form factor of an SD card. It's got everything what you expect a little PC to have. So for example, this is Wi-Fi plus Bluetooth. This is two layers, memory sitting on top of a dual core CPU. This is flash storage. At the back of it, you have all kinds of IOs connecting to the outside world, like uh, actuators, sensors, uh, motors, cameras, that kind of thing. This is meant to be plugged into all kinds of uh, hardware devices, so that makes the invention of smart devices, like cups, smart cups, uh, or baby monitors that were demoed by BK during the first day. It, the idea is to make the invention of these devices really easy, because we take the hard work away from you. So we've already done it. This is low power, highly integrated. This is difficult to do, but that job is taken care of by Intel, so people can concentrate on making the rest of the hardware and concentrating on actually writing software, because this is a fully x86 compatible uh, system that runs standard Linux, so lots of things that people want to have to do on a fully functional PC, you can now do it on here. What kind of challenges did you face when trying to shrink down basically an entire PC in something ridiculous right. and small? So, in order to get to this point, actually, we did actually face quite a bit of a challenges, as you could uh, imagine. So, for example, um, these chips have to be tailor-made to actually fit in this one factor. Now, chips or dies can be made fairly small, but chips have challenges like pin count. It's limited by how many pins you have, so it is very difficult to actually shrink these things down to the size that will fit on this. The other challenge is power. This whole system, with lots of dual core with Wi-Fi, everything running at peak speed, uh, a conventional computer will draw a lot of power, right? But this guy actually draws power from SD card slot. And this whole system draws a maximum of one, just one watt. So this is another challenge that we have to work on to keep the power consumption of the system low. There are lots of other issues, for example, heat, right? It, it's very easy to imagine that this guy does not have a fan or heat sink or anything could create a lot of uh, heat to damage the system. But right now, this thing, even if it runs at peak power, you can touch it, you feel it a little bit lukewarm, but not very hard. So there are all of those engineering issues I think that's very difficult to work on. Uh, Wi-Fi antenna performance is yet another issue that we have to work on to make sure that you get good performance in such a such a small package. Now typically, historically, whenever Intel's brought out a new form factor, you've had a lot of uh, problems with your yields at the very beginning. Right. Something this small, I'd imagine you're going to have the same issues. Is that going to drive up prices at first, or how much uh, are you expecting this to enter the market at? Yeah, I mean, this is also a good question in the sense that uh, a lot of these cutting edge technologies do actually have yield issues. Uh, but uh, Intel is actually very good at actually solving these manufacturing problems. Uh, historically, we have always been very good at solving, uh, in terms of manufacturing, probably problems that are even more challenging than this. So I'm actually fairly comp confident that manufacturing is something that Intel is actually very strong at. It's something that Intel will solve. And the price of this, we cannot actually say official estimates yet, but one of the estimates that you could look at is Galileo. Galileo is already on the market that's selling for something like 60 or $70. We do not expect that to be very different from this one. So it's something that Intel is actually committed to in terms of making it widely available for innovative hardware makers who would like to use this to make devices. Are you seeing this maybe in a lot of home automation, miniature CPUs in everyday home appliances and whatnot? Right. This is meant to be used for basically anyone who wants to have a little PC to create new hardware devices. I wouldn't necessarily be so deluded to say that we're going to take over certain spaces like either home automation or wearable or IoT. I think there are certain applications that this would be very good for. There will always be applications that this is not good for. I think okay. it's really what this is really for is really to open people's imagination to create brand new devices that has not been invented yet. We are not so interested in somehow taking over an existing space that other people are doing pretty well at. We are really looking at fairly novel ideas that you haven't seen being, being done yet. And I think there is really a lot of capability that this guy brings to the table that will encourage people to create devices that are much more exciting than what was before with the previous devices. Excellent, excellent. Randy, Intel, yes. thank you very much. Thank you, thank you for coming.